Hello and welcome back to another Kapia Sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to do a couple of things on Windows 10. So first things first, let's take a look at changing our wallpaper. So first find a photo that you want to use. So I'm going to use my Kapia Sluggish wallpaper. Right click the image and go set as desktop background. And there you go. As you can see, it's now just changed my wallpaper, so my background. Okay, so now we're going to right click our desktop and we're going to go down to personalize. Okay, and you should end up with a window looking like this. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the background is my picture. Okay, and here I've seen choose how you want it to fit the screen, so fill, fit, stretch, tile, center and span. Okay, so we're now going to go down to colors. Okay, so as you can see we can automatically pick color from our background. Okay, so obviously that's not changed anything yet, as you can see. So we're just going to turn that off for a second. And obviously blue goes well with my background, so I'm going to go blue, okay? And then here we've got show color and taskbar and start menu. That's a yes. So there you go, as you can see it's now changed our color. So if I just minimize that window for a sec, there you go. So you've got a nice little blue start menu now, okay? And taskbar. Right, so if we go back to this, we can obviously all sorts of colours here, but let's keep it as blue. Obviously because we didn't have this checked earlier, now if I untick the off, as you can see it stayed the same colour. Okay, right, so you can make the start menu transparent, so as you can see we can slightly f see through the start menu, yeah. Okay, so... If you don't want to be able to do that, just obviously simply untick that. But as you can see, the taskbar is now not transparent and neither is the start menu. Okay, But I like to keep that on because it looks pretty smart. Right, so we got our lock screen. So here you can choose the image that you want to use for your lock, lock screen. Okay, So background, let's see, I want to go picture. And, mm, okay, so here's the default images with Windows 10. That's a pretty cool image. I'm going to keep that. But obviously you can browse and select your own personal image as well. Like my computer sluggish one. But I'm going to go with a nice forest. Okay. So, obviously next we've got themes. Okay, so go to theme settings, and obviously, we've just pretty much created our own theme anyway. So, if you want to change everything that you just did, then obviously, here we got high contrast, and yeah, that's pretty ugly, not very nice, but yeah. So obviously just click back onto the unsaved thing and that will bring back the settings that you just did. So obviously now we've got our sound settings. So all we got there is our default anyway, our default windows. Okay, cancel that. You can download more online. I can do a tutorial on this later on if you're interested. So we've got our icon settings, okay. So, if we just minimize that for a second, at the moment, as you can see on our desktop, we've only got the recycle bin. If we select computer, user files, and control panel, and we go apply, as you can see, it's added all those to our desktop now. So, you can choose which items you'd like on your desktop. I like to have just the recycle bin and the computer, so I'll keep it like that. Obviously you can change the icons as well by clicking the change icon button, but you're better just keeping them to the default. 
I will do a tutorial later on how to get cool themed icons like Mario and stuff like that. Okay, so just cancel that. Okay, that. Right, if we go back to our settings, we got our mouse pointer settings now. So obviously here, you can change what mouse you'd like to use, like how you want the cursor to look. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to the default. Okay, and obviously you can browse if you know how to make your own cursor images, then you can browse for your file and select them. I will do a tutorial later on how to get themed packs, so yet again like Mario and stuff, which is pretty awesome, okay, so you can change all your pointers. Right, so obviously you've got your speed and stuff there, but yeah, right. So I hope this little tutorial helped on how to customise Windows 10 a bit. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more Windows 10 tutorials.